actually not heard about this sweet Bobby thing. The person who got catfished is f***ing stupid. Thank like, you, I was going to say the same yeah. thing. There's no other thing. The same thing. <laughs> Just in blind ranking, my direction, right? To be honest, you know, I actually like Liam. He was probably my second, he was my third favourite, probably. What, you keep going down. <laughs> <laughs> Harry was one. Oh, I know what you're going to say. But then, Zayn Malik showed his Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. It's one direction bigger than the Beatles. Off. The, the, yeah, what it a <laughs> Welcome back, people, to a new episode of the Atypical Podcast. This is episode number 57. Ooh, juicy number 57. All right, lads, uh, let's get to the normal topic, our favorite topic. <laughs> what did everybody do for this week, mate? <laughs> what a terrible yeah. question. <laughs> it's a great question. You guys just have terrible answers. <laughs> uh, we we had a quite an eventful weekend last weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Does someone want yeah. to delve into what exactly happened, or should we mm. keep it a secret? Well, to be fair, we've literally uploaded his predictions. Yeah, they already and, know. Yeah, that's true. And <laughs> we did the maths, and he was astronomically wrong. For a year, oh. he's still more right than wrong. For he's still a more right than wrong. Yeah, but he's, he's four out of three, or four out of three, right? Four, four yeah, yeah, four right, three wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you'd expect more than just barely fifty percent. Did he get the <laughs> Did he get the big fights right at least? One of them. One of them. <laughs> yeah, one of them. He was 50 50, bruv. <laughs> Dave from the pub was probably more accurate than him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he was. I'll have you know he was. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had yeah. Modestus Bukowskis on, or as Harshu says. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, Harshu, can, Harshu, can Harshu please say his name? I'd like to redeem myself. I'm sorry, guys. Um, his name is Modestus Bukowskis. Um, right, and nice. Yeah, it was a pleasure to have on, man. Sick guy. Sick guy. <laughs> yeah. I think Hamza yeah. disagrees with that. <laughs> he wasn't a pleasure <laughs> well, with that pronunciation. Oh, why? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. You disgraced all of us. You brought shame upon the family. <laughs> yeah, that's so, you get assassinated for him. What part of them? Shame. Should we, should we give shame. some context? Because I mean, the episode is not going to be out by the time this is out. Oh, true, true. Well, we had no, a UFC wanted... fighter. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You go. You go. Interview yeah, mode. No, Switch on. <laughs> we have a UFC fighter. Come on. Harsh. Harsh made contact. Brought him on. Didn't it? Shout out, Harsh. Coming through. For once, <coughs> and, uh, you, explain it actually. Crazy back end yeah. compliment. You explain how we got a UFC it, fighter. It was top thirty. Um, it was if you not remember, it was the um the Manchester episode where I went to go watch UFC three hundred four, and then um a friend of mine got uh we actually saw Modestus walking around with his team out in Manchester, so <clears throat> he just approached him, said hi, and then I slid into his DMs like a bad bee the day after, <laughs> and then um. Thankfully, he, he was nice. Though? Nah. You fly out like a bad bee? <laughs> nah, he didn't. I didn't get the, the full <laughs> bad bee treatment, unfortunately. Nah, but then, yeah, he um he was nice enough to, like, um respond and actually set something up with us. So, yeah. Uh, it's bad that you replied. Him. I would expect yeah, most athletes to just blank any message. Yeah. I flirted, though, innit? I flirted a little bit. So. You know what? Oh, you you threw know, going off... Bad bee. You know what? Go... Going off his chat, uh, he's probably familiar with the bad bees in his DMs. <laughs> That's what Super I'm going to say. Though. 100%. <laughs> I can't know, a whole 20-minute segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sexually active male. <laughs> I'm a sexually active That's <laughs> a tagline. Like, no fap, in it. No fap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, that was event for. He was really cool. Um, obviously, I think, objectively speaking, Ash Dykes had you know, more crazy stories. Because he's literally... Bear Grylls yeah. 3.0, really. But. Shout out him also, by the way. Was, Just yeah, recently. Ash legend. Recently. Another world record. record. Yeah. The Don doesn't stop, bro. When he's going to retire. He'll be on soon. He'll be on soon. He I retire? think he probably he's got, got even that old. I think he's got I think he's got one more really and then he's got to settle down and have a family and then he ain't getting none of this shit once he gets a family. Shall if he can come sick. through, fingers crossed, with a TV deal, oh. I think then that then that would be like a safe way of doing records. You know what I mean? Yeah. Otherwise, Shab's so, gonna be pissed off, man. Yeah, she's gonna <laughs> she's be like, nah, no more, bro. You can't no be going to Suriname getting parasites and all sorts. Yeah, of Suriname. No Listen, way. you want to go Congo, no? <laughs> he doesn't want to do that. I don't, I, even he's admitted that he's too pussy to do Congo. Yeah, Congo is nuts. <laughs> Everyone is just crazy. Congo is nuts. Shout out the motherland, but, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, so like Ash was great. It was a different vibe, though, I think, because Modesta is much more of a lad, you know, yeah, lad's PR lad's mode lad's was lad. off. Mm. Like I said, he talked about no fat for about twenty minutes. Mm. So uh, that was fun. Yeah, it was it was a good chat. It was a good chat. I think he settled in very quickly. I think. Yeah, just like Ash. Ash. I think we're good at that. No, I think oh, Ash settled yeah, in yeah, immediately yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm. I think we're I think we're banging it out like that. I, yeah, I mean, to me tomorrow. They both did. I'm just comparing, like, you know, very 
minute differences. But uh, yeah, what was any anything different in terms of talking to him versus Ash? Obviously, Harsha was rattled. Yeah, Harsha was rattled off seconds. the bat there. Yeah. <laughs> I would like no, to explain. The first negative five seconds. Bro, even before we started recording, bro, I was rattled as yeah. soon as you walked in, bro. I fucked up the intro. But yeah, he was a nice guy. Though. Roosters, <laughs> took, took hey, Roosters took 30 minutes. Roosters took 30 minutes. Then he Roosters took 30 minutes. Bro said no fucking food in here. <laughs> even though he said oh, we can eat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I was rattled, Long man. Day. Apologies, lads. Yeah. Shame to the family. She was rattled. That's by six yeah. red cards. Are easily forgetting the name wrong. Honestly, man. That is funny. You know, the thing is, yeah. The Honestly. thing is, yeah. I was sitting there like, practicing you know. the night before in the mirror. This mirror here, yeah. Like, <laughs> just the mirror because, betrayed you. Just because, it w- just it was because funnier because he clocked within 0.2 seconds. Literally. Yeah, yeah. And none of us literally. did. Yeah, None of I, did, no. under my breath, I was like, Modestus Picasso, and then I was like, Modestus Picasso again, and he was like, you got it right the second time, but you yeah. fucked up, bro. Like, I was like, no, no, I, hope, I was hoping he did clock, but what could you do with it? I might as well just call him a pussy, bro. Honestly, hey, yo. We would have went down better. Yeah, to be fair. It would have went down better. Yeah, with yeah, a yeah, fucking broken right. leg. I would have gone home yeah. with fucking two broken <laughs> legs, bro. Yeah. You did want to get kicked. Cool. I did want to get yeah. kicked. Yeah. I didn't want to get kicked. Yeah. But was well, he was cool. Was any he was, any was other differences, man. Hamza and uh, Jay, that you found? No, Jay, I think it was the same it? vibes, just different. I think you're right. He had less like, it was less P R E, um, but I think Ash Ash has done a lot more. He yeah, had, like a lot more structure, like to what he was doing. Um, but yeah, no, it was sick. No, we were both sick. I think he enjoyed our weirdness a bit more. Yeah, Ash was more more P R E. I think he had to be after the cameras turned off that he was vibes not that he yeah, wasn't yeah, already yeah. on camera but you know you, you get me like he was bro's got 200k on insta you can't be saying the crazy shit in it uh, yeah 20k looking. back then bro we bought in early really 20k no 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 yeah, yeah, he had 100 or something then. he had 100 yeah, he was like 20K. 80, when we when we first shouted him out he had 20 man, when we first like got yeah i called him that was i don't think he was records, you man. know trust me he was he was we'll find the social blade we'll find the social blade <laughs> social blade social blade down we need some world records lads I think well, when the episode came piece. out or whatever, then he'd like he'd gone up quite a bit. But I think when we first initially shouted him, he was on like twenty k. I think when we brought him on, he was on over a hundred. Yeah, he was no, over a yeah, hundred. Right? Yeah, yeah. But when, when, Hamza, when you, you shouted shout him like f- five years before that, innit? <laughs> Too fair though. <laughs> Too fair though. Shout out <laughs> back to the virtual days, back here again, full circle. Uh, anyway, yeah. Other than yeah. Mendes's Bukowskis, which we all did, so I'm already discounting that. Any uh, anybody else do anything interesting? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watched the UFC last night. That was fucking interesting. Yeah, I watched the UFC last night as well. Went around mate's house. Second yeah. mate from our shoes. Uh, I was on my own Fantastic. with my dad. I was having a good time. <laughs> didn't want you there. Yeah. But I didn't uh, want you there, so I didn't want you. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't want you. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, good, good. But yeah, no, it was sick, man. Absolutely amazing. Um, a lot of upsets. A lot of upsets, but. I was watching from the prelims and I can't lie, some early fighters were doing bits. There was one, shout out, yeah. Ibo Aslan, Turkish fighter. The guy came in within like, the fastest fight I saw the other the night was like 30 seconds, knockout yeah. in the first, first round. Crazy. Um, shout out to him. But then, yeah, everyone knows, obviously, Max got knocked out the first time in his history. Might have to, bro. <laughs> might have to. My track record, I might have to. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, like, Dibbo, I'll, I'll be like Dibbo Aslan and get kicked by him as well. <laughs> um, but... Uh, yeah, no, it was um, Max got Max got knocked out, bro. Crazy. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about it, bro. Every time I turn Absolutely on that event, every single fight I just loses. It's sad. But why I stop? Ilya's doing hungry, this. man. Ilya's hungry, bro. Yeah, fuck that guy. I like Come him a lot, though. Still, what yeah. Fuck? He's young. He's cocky. He's braggadocious. He's trash. Hate that guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Come on, Jay. Yeah. Come on, Jay. Yeah. You know, you Jay division. versus Ilya in the octagon. No, but Jay, guess the division. <laughs> Uh, um. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Got the one he knows. Yeah, I know. He should know this one. I don't know which one. one it could be. <laughs> a featherweight. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well done. Well done. That's actually yeah. right. What the fuck? Guy on three. Guys, yeah, not acting so shocked, man. He knows Ilya. <laughs> true, yeah. That, that is why true, he said true, it. True, 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 true. true. Anyway, I'm I went. Good, I, I went to an NFL bro. game. I went to an NFL game on oh, yeah, Sunday. Nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. Who was anyway, it? Who played? Uh, first topic. Who played? No, no, who played? Who played? <laughs> uh, the two shittest teams in the league. It was the literal two shittest teams in the league. My team, the Patriots in Jacksonville, <laughs> both one and five. Patriots and, peaked, uh, man, and now it's just L in it. 
That's that is what it is. That's the sport. That's the sport. It's not like I've seen Arsenal win a league in a while, so it's fine. Yeah, honestly, I'm used to it. Um, but there were so many Americans. It's always funny to be reminded how many Americans are in London. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. wild Americans, and there was some. There were some guys in front. Obviously, we were talking. I was went with a mate, and um, they were finished at like two, right. two, two in the yeah, afternoon. Yeah, pissed. <laughs> pissed. Honestly, oh, so right. pissed. And uh, he was supporting Jacksonville. I was behind right. him supporting Patriots. And then there was like a sort of uh, not rivalry, but like a fun, yeah, yeah, friendly yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of. Were thing. you wearing your Patriots uh, jersey? No, I wasn't. I don't have Why? a Patriots jersey. Oh, you don't, I don't have oh, a Patriots okay. jersey. Yeah, next birthday. There's not a Patriots thing though. I can't take that thing. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> birthday Shut presents. Up. Those went down. Shut well. up. Those yeah, you're the well. one who freaking made sure they stopped. Listen, Jay and Horshi threw out first. They were like, uh, I don't mind just cancelling. It was all downhill after that Pepe's, isn't it? It was all downhill after that Pepe's. He's not wrong. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was nice while it lasted, though, wasn't it? It was nice while yeah. it lasted. It was cute, lol. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I still got God of War. That's what you man bought me, in it. True. Probably you man only bought me God of War. That's crazy, you know? And shoes. True. Can't believe you wanted a gift card for your birthday. Hand, hand delivered yeah. to your house, by the way, just saying. Yeah, true. Do you, feel, you gave me a Berserk volume and it's the Berserk volume's there. True. They're behind the one piece. So I have that. See um, that effort? It's nice, isn't it? When it lasts and <clears throat> actually comes through. Oh, bro, where's your lighthouse? <laughs> oh, you got me a figurine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, who, who won the match, my son? <laughs> uh, the Jacksonville destroyed my team. Yeah, so anyway, um, the Patriots were shit. I was like, even though I was playing them, I'm like, you're shit. The guy in front was like, haha, yeah, you finally realized. The, the the three guys were just finished. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, how can you be that gone at two in the afternoon? But then again, you go to football events and you got twelve thirty kickoffs. Bro, and these dons go to have a beer at five a.m. flights in an airport, bro. They cooked. Yeah, they cooked. Yeah, they <laughs> were they like were they tourists or were they living here? No, no, they were they were Brits. They were London boys. Oh, there were like three of them. Yeah, you saying these dons were American? No, 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 uh, they were London. Americans all surrounding yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not, and it was it, kind of funny. There was one moment. This was the funniest interaction in the whole thing. Yeah. So we, we I was sat very close to the actual, um, the, the the ground, and I was like literally second row. Right in the first row, there was a guy and his wife, and Jacksonville scored a touchdown. And this guy was a full kit wanker. All right, full kit everything. Jacksonville from top to bottom. I don't think he was American. I think he was German. Yeah. They score a big touchdown. And him and his wife celebrating, and he just goes, oh, no. spank. Oh, Front fez. row, by the way. Front fez. row, everybody fez. could see. And I was like, hold on a second, there's kids around, bro. <laughs> What's going on? Um, That's a kid's but, problem. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kid's problem. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the most eventful thing I did, other than the Modestus thing. Fez? Better than watching a TV show, innit? In the horseshoe. I don't think I did anything. Word, man. Word. <laughs> Jay, did we do anything, bro? I don't even remember what I've been doing. What have you been I was in Scotland. I didn't do much. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I did do something there. Yeah, you Wait, so we recorded six, Modestus last weekend, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in that case, yeah, I've done nothing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I've done, Great. I've, I've done nothing. I've done nothing. I've done nothing. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, wait, yeah, I'm yeah, I've done nothing. Really excited to see what Harsh brought to the pod, you know? So I'm I'm going yeah, to have Harsh to mate. What I'll bring to the yeah. pod is that I'm about to leave in about two minutes. So. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys in a bit. Yeah, it was really nice talking to you. Nice catching up. <laughs> you guys done so much this week, and we should continue doing this podcast. I love you lots. Bye. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, All right. Well, do we have any topics? I got a yeah, couple. Yeah. I got a couple. Yes. Thank you. Save the episode. Oh, was that your left. only thing? He left. Of course he left. Such a fraud. All, you, all you brought is that you went NFL. Is that what you're about to say? No, 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 no. I've got topics, but oh, I've does. been talking for a while, isn't it? I got one that we could segue from Americans to no, to other Americans if we wow. want to do that. Yeah, North on. Americans, South uh, Americans. Have you guys heard of the Menendez brothers? No. Uh, possibly. All right. Yes. So story time. <laughs> story, story. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. So the Menendez brothers. Yeah, my son's realizing. Why spoilers, yeah. bro? Spoilers. What are you doing? Yeah, sorry, you go. Authentic <laughs> reaction. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Guy. No, no, no the, the, the audience might not know. The uh, tips, uh, fans. Well, yeah, to be fair. All right, so Menendez brothers. Jose Menendez, Lau Menendez. Murderers. All right, we're talking about murderers. So 
I'll do a little timeline for you guys, right? But there's a Netflix documentary, I think that's out right now. So I'm sure a lot of people might have come across it because of that, because they're coming back into the news again for potential retrial. But I'll take you back. So August 1989, Jose Menendez um, and his wife, sorry, Jose was the dad, actually. Never mind. Um, Eric and Lyle were the, were the sons. So Jose Menendez uh, and his wife, Kitty. Kitty? Shout out Joella. Was, they were shot and killed. <laughs> they were shot and killed. I don't know why we always make jokes and see or something. They were shot and killed uh, in, their, in their mansion, right? I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but <clears throat> the murder was nuts. So basically, their two sons, Lyle and Eric... Um, so Lyle was arrested and then his brother Eric turned himself in, right? And they were first degree murder, bro. They absolutely obliterated their parents. They like, I'm talking shotgun, like they shot him to the knees. That like they basically polka dotted their entire body with bullets, reloaded, went back for seconds on their own mum. It's crazy, pause. It's wild, right? So <laughs> <laughs> That's my brain my life was not in that space <laughs> let the record show uh, uh, I realised what I said it and um, yeah so basically uh, they go on trial right and each one has a separate jury and so the prosecutors argued that they killed their parents for financial gain because their dad was like an executive at records and they had like a Beverly Hill mansion or whatever um, and then the attorney for the brothers basically didn't dispute that they killed their parents because obviously they did it, but they said it was self-defense after years of emotional and sexual abuse by their father. A couple years later, they did a retrial for alleged sexual abuse um, and the defense evidence was ex excluded from the trial, right, which is wild. And then they got uh, convicted for life in prison without parole, first degree murder. So they've done, like, they've done like 34 years in prison so far, right? And so recently the attorneys for the brothers basically asked the court to reconsider the conviction because they got new evidence from a former member of a boy band who said that he was r-worded by the guy's dad uh, when he was 14 so it was like oh we got proof of another sexual abuse from the dad so it kind of like you know correlates with the the this um the brother's story about getting it done as well so they uh then apparently one of them wrote a letter about his father's abuse prior to getting killed as well so they put that in there so they were sentenced uh the relatives say that the jurors who sentenced them to life without parole were part of a society that was not ready to hear that boys could be sexually abused right especially back then right 90s or whatever um and so basically what's happened now is that they want to basically take this new evidence into account and they want to basically redo the trial and a lot of people are garnering support for them saying they want to get them released because they've served three decades in prison they were abused like it was bad like some of the stuff like the dad basically just constantly for years just abused them and then they were worried like they oh, like he might kill us or you know it's out of control and they were like i think they were like late teens as well by the time that you basically stopped or i guess they killed so it was wild it was wild so yeah now it's just like netflix documentaries out want a retrial people want to get them released so yeah it's a bit crazy what do you think do you think people like that should get released i mean you still uh, it's it's tough because you don't know the evidence right but they they still murdered people but you can understand their point of view which is where i think the, the line is right? they're justified yeah that's crazy i've been saying that quite <laughs> a different episode <laughs> Yeah. it's not justified but you can understand it like it, would they be a, a harm to society i don't think they would right that's the thing that is the ultimate question yeah, yeah. i don't, I don't you think know, they would i mean have they not literally served a life sentence then if they've been in prison for 30 years isn't life sentence like no, life sentence is like life life sentence without parole oh okay yeah right. yeah yeah so they're in there forever <clears throat> um i mean it's a tricky one because ultimately it depends if they've been like yeah it's like jay said are they going to be a repeat offender like is is it just a case of like it wasn't like after years of abuse this was like a a moment where you know how they say like murder is a passion crime like it just all basically came out but i don't know what's the relationship with their mom then because i don't know the full story oh, their mom knew the... that they were getting abused and she didn't as shit. well yeah 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 mm. so Apparently, like, um, did they kill the mom as well? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They went back. That's what I said. They went they back, went for, back seconds. for seconds, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They reloaded and then they went back. It's they wild, reload. Bro. That's crazy, bro. They did a tack <laughs> reload and then went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah, yeah. they, man, quick they had scavenger, bro. They yeah, had scavenger. Quick one, bro. <laughs> it's always quicker to swap to your secondary, man. They should know. Yeah, that. too fair. That, That's too fair. Crazy. <laughs> what do you think their secondary was? Their primary is a spaz. Yeah. Oh, Second M1911, bro. Actually, let me see it's what American. gun they use, actually. Hold on. Mm. Uh, let's see. They used, jeez, Louise, twelve gauge shotguns. You remember yeah, them playing around, bro? Yikes! Twelve gauge shotguns. That's crazy. So apparently, one of the brothers confessed during the session with this therapist because they weren't actually the initial. They claimed that they went out and then they came back and found the bodies. So they weren't actually like uh, initial suspects, and they like got bare inheritance, spending bare money, and then one of them apparently like did somewhat of a confession to the therapist, and then eventually they got caught. Really? Yeah. Damn, the therapist crossed. Didn't know yeah. they could do that. Yeah. Well, I didn't it's know. criminal, isn't it? <laughs> Breaking Bad's taught me wrong then. Yeah, do you fair though. So, that's, yeah, that's, that's wild, wild then. What, did they like clean up all the blood and stuff? Bleach the house? No, I don't think they did. Um, I, it's just, I just terrible police know. work. How are you not going to find fingerprints? That's nuts. i got no idea. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess they're in the house. It's their house anyway. So it's not like you wouldn't find the evidence, if that makes sense. If they got rid of the guns and, I don't know, maybe got rid of the, pep, I don't know, the casing or stuff, I don't know. Yeah, then maybe you can get away with it because it's their house. So you're going to find the evidence anyway. But yeah. That's so a wild story. Yeah it's, yeah, it's always tricky with those ones because it's like Jay said, you can understand why they, why they did the murder. But yeah. like... <sighs> I don't know. I wonder how they're in, like, uh, been in prison the last 30 years. They've rehabilitated. They've been, like, functioning members of the prison society or they joined, like, gangs and stuff. Like Did they go to the same one. prison? Uh, I believe they... I've never really heard about that type of stuff. Like, if you and your... Br- and, a, and a sibling... Go, oh, they, they remained share the in same separate cell? prisons. Yes. They remained in separate prisons until 2018, and then they were... Then they, they lived together. Crazy, yeah. San Diego. <clears throat> yeah, I I reckon if you're backed into a corner that much, there's there's no reason for them to commit something similar. Like I tell you something though, yeah, they look <laughs> like killers. <laughs> if you see a picture of them, bro. Only see Netflix. If go to the Wikipedia, type in Lyle and Eric Menendez, bro. They look, especially Eric. What's his first name? Lyle. Yeah, L Y L E. Yeah, yeah. Bro, they know. look like serial killers. <laughs> I mean, they're not serial killers, bold. but they look like killers. They oh, look like, like killers. pictures of them now. Well, it's a it's their mug shot taken in twenty twenty three. Actually, yeah, in the Wikipedia, it looks yeah, wild. Yeah. What? Where yeah, one of them is bald? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That one of the right looking. Crazy. <laughs> That's it. he's just got that Johnny Sins vibe. Hey yo. That's no, no, I'm talking about the one with hair, bro. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I knew the picture. I'm literally looking picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very The one with hair looks like he he sells carpets. That's what I reckon. I think they're married though. To each other. Uh-huh. No. no. <laughs> to each other, no. That would be some yeah, that's a different type of story, man. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently they're married. I don't know if they might not be divorced. Fairs, isn't it? So they're nice. currently going through a retrial then? I don't know that. Yeah, I think I it's currently they're... like they, 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 the process has started. I think it might be next year or something again. Like the evidence so and stuff who, made, a who made the documentary then? Ne- Netflix, Netflix. I think Netflix documentary. But like what? As in like random, like a random filmmaker film them in prison or what? No, no. Oh, so I, don't think, I don't know. I think it's a reenactment oh. one. It's like the... Yeah, I think it's one. reenactment with, oh, with, like um, with footage in it and stuff like that. It's like the Jeffrey J. Dahmer one, right. I think. <laughs> Like Jeffrey J. Dahmer, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Never been the allegation. Sorry, I'm sorry, but why do I give a shit about what Kim Kardashian has to say? Kim oh, Kardashian. She does all the stuff. I was about to say that as well. Oh, brother, she does. She I'm does all the care. legal stuff in it for people who have like life sentences, and she thinks they should be released because she studied a bit of law. And yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure there's stuff. way yeah, more qualified people fuck though. All, mate. <laughs> hey, but to be fair, her, her was it her dad? Yeah, her dad did get off um, OJ, to OJ, be fair. To be fair. So if you can get Actually, off OJ, you can do anything. You know, when it's you say blood. that, you know, when you say that, that I've actually changed my mind now. Yeah. That was this a true first time. calling. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time her opinion might be valid, actually. <laughs> no, her dad's uh, opinion, not hers. 
yeah yeah but anyways that was a little story i thought it was pretty cool talking about crazy. netflix docs have you lot <laughs> have you lot heard about this sweet bobby thing that's been going around i was actually another one i was also gonna bring up like no if, i've, yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah, of it thrown yeah. around I've I've heard, it's nothing. so nuts so i haven't seen it but i've i've so i've heard like what it's about and and essentially yeah. the story's been told to me and by it, the way I, I, the only reason the only re- real, real quick the only reason i know about this is because of um crap i've forgotten his name bruv who's the famous asian comedian british one tez Elias. no not him uh um, nathan no not him because because Khan, because yeah because bro there's way more than i realized actually <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the one with the bloody bastard that was his whole joke oh child uh, Paul Chowdhury. Chowdhury, Chowdhury. Paul Chowdhury. Yeah. That was it. Literally, I saw him talk about Sweet Boy for two seconds. That's all I know yeah, about this. Yeah, because so. yeah, nice. it, it, so it's basically it's a catfish story, right? But I'm just going to preface this: the person who got catfished is fucking stupid. <laughs> Thank like, you. I was going to say the same thing. There's I was no other say thing. The same thing. <laughs> you, so dumb. You cannot get catfished for ten years. <laughs> yeah, ten for a whole decade. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you believe it, and the, the, apparently the stories that this person was right. So, it, you know, it, spoiler alert. If anyone cut now, if you want to watch the show, right? Spoiler alert. This woman's getting catfished by her cousin for ten years. Yeah, and the female cousin, cousin, female cousin, two females. Yeah, female getting catfished by her female cousin. The female cousin is pretending to be some Siddhartha. All right, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> and then this elaborate story she's writing throughout the decade the person like goes to hospital gets hospitalized dies resurrected all this shit's going on (laughs) (laughs) this woman never asked for a single picture she no, no, she did but she got fake pictures i think okay or maybe yeah maybe like one fake picture because the person was catfishing as someone else who was actually like a real person Yes. So they, yeah. and they made like they made like sixty different like it made a face fake fake Facebook and like sixty other fake Facebooks uh, to like create a, a community and a family and friends for this person as well. But they only ever voice chatted, obviously, because they're never going to video call. But mm-hmm. they, whenever they did voice chat, the person also never spoke. So the woman was just talking to herself. Yeah, no. no. So what I, what I heard was like this person would speak, but they'd be like they'd put on a fake voice and they'd only speak in whispers because apparently they were like. Some sort of a oh, I can't ASMR. My head. Yeah, ASMR. They were like some sort of a they had like health issues and they were like maybe like a burn victim, I think, vaguely comes to mind, or something this like that, right? Crazy Where story. they basically like they were like messed up like physically, so they didn't want to show themselves because they were like afraid of how they looked, and then they also whispered and they said that their voice was messed up. Like, yeah, it was wild. It was wild. But Jay's yeah. right, no video called ten years you No video nuts. called nothing, right? So when I heard this, I thought because I haven't seen the doc myself. When I heard this, I thought, okay, like let me put myself in the mind of that person getting catfished. What could be the reasons? <laughs> why i'm stupid so i was thinking all right maybe <laughs> maybe this like the internet was new this was like a very long time ago they didn't understand how it works um or maybe you know they just they were very inept digitally then i found out this happened like 20 2018 it stopped really so, yeah and the person's not that old they're like in their 30s now so what? yeah in their 20s and this is going down yes in the in the mid 2010s Wow, that's how this is also when the catfish TV show was in its peak, right? So yeah, everyone yeah. knew, like, everyone was watching this show. This is this is a very, very well known show, at least in the UK and US. Mm-hmm. And people know all the rules, right? You know, if, if someone's not showing you pictures, not video calling you, making up elaborate lies, they never <laughs> want to meet you. <laughs> yeah, literally, whisper on the call. Well, I don't understand. At this point, it's your own fault. I ain't even gonna lie. And she and she told her parents, she was like, I want to get married to this guy. And then her parents were like, all right, say less. Where's the pictures? Let's meet the person. He just kept making excuses and excuses and excuses and excuses. And yeah, it was. Why was this woman so enamored? This person, I'm very. Because confused. I think she was just wanting to get married, didn't it? Like she probably had a bit of issues with like getting, getting mm. relationships and shit. She's a bit desperate. Well, so maybe this maybe this Bobby Giza was, you know, heaven sent in it. <laughs> maybe it was like different gravy. I forget how she finally found out though. Was it was it the real? She found the real person. Yeah. So she apparently so oh, okay. So check this out. So apparently she came across the real person in like a bar, like locally or sort of like a restaurant or something like that. But she didn't go up to them. 
because like i can't remember why but she didn't go up to them or say anything right but obviously the other person had no idea who she is because someone's impersonating you know the real bobby right and then eventually i think she yeah she saw him or whatever she no she went to his house right because i think the address the catfish cousin gave or something might be the real one and then he knocks she knocks on the door and he's like who are you? She's got like a wife and kids. In, she's rocking up like, I love you. You love me. We're supposed to be together. And he's like, oh. I ain't got no clue who you are. <laughs> yeah, it was it was crazy, man. It was crazy. She's a talk show, BBC radio host. What? Yeah. Kirit He's Asi. a talk show host? Yeah, What's yeah, her yeah name? radio host. Kirit Assi. What like now because of the clout? You telling me? No, no, no. Long. I think I think back then as well. Yeah, like the whole time. Still <laughs> flipping Asian Star Radio. What the flip? Asian Star One Hundred One Point Six FM, bro. <laughs> what the hell? That. Yeah, bro. It it it, it was wild. It was wild. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just like reading a little bit more, and uh, yeah, and then. Obviously, she found out. I think she found out. I don't know how she found out it was her cousin, though. <laughs> this, this article says, Exclusive <laughs> Sweet Bobby's Kirit Asi shares disappointment over real Bobby's reaction to her. What did she expect him to do, man? <laughs> uh, she she tried, by the way, she tried doing legal action against her cousin. Nothing. Yeah, because catfishing illegal isn't catfish. illegal. Yeah, That's wild that it's not illegal. That, that is kind of wild. <clears throat> it's, it's impersonation of someone else. Surely that alone is flipping fraud. Yeah. The thing I is, I think where it where it gets into muddy situation is you're technically impersonating over public available stuff. Like mm. if it's publicly available, anyone can use it. That's just the law. So mm. that's what happens all the time in the in the TV show. Anyway, I mean there have been some crazy stories on the TV show, but this one takes all of them. If you're getting catfish for ten years. I mean, there, I've seen episodes where someone, an, an American, genuinely thought he was chatting and in love with Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> what did he? He thought it was actually Katy Perry. He thought it was Katy Perry, and then they they like did all the research. They found out it was some person in in, in England, person in the UK. Yeah, no flew the guy out. Me. They met face to face, and he was like, "Nah, this is a lie. I still think it's Katy Perry." Oh my god, that's Done like. Out, right? ha- so that she like she she some... retraced all like the communications and apparently led back to her cousin like I don't know maybe same numbers or whatever and then she confronted her and then her cousin Simran admitted it but then she's never come out publicly so we have no idea why she did it probably just jealous I guess of the fact that she might be successful or she's a radio host or whatever well, she's getting then... money out of it like was she asking for money or anything nah 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 nah, nah. I don't think so just I think she might wasting... just be jealous of her thingy just wasting time for 10 years Asian politics innit what are you going to say uh, trolling for 10 years next you'd next be surprised one, next bro people do it for very weird reasons yeah but, but that's listen, nuts though like, if you if anyone listen to this is chatting to someone <laughs> and they haven't seen their face or met yeah can you just do your research please because you're going to look like a twat find someone else just yeah. don't we'll do it lie, like when I first found out about this, and I was like, 10 years, I was like, yeah, you're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no excuse. If it was six months, maybe even a year, I'd be like, hmm, okay. But anything past that, let alone 10, a decade. Yeah, you 10 years is wild. You a decade so you... straight as well, not on and off. If if it, Yeah, if it's that long. And if you're our demographic, if you're our age, you know, more or less, you, you should know about it. You just should. Jay, you watch obviously the Catfish show quite uh, well. You've watched it regularly before. I don't know if you still watch it. What have they ever like? Is it ever happily ever after? Is there ever a catfish and they're like, oh, you know what? I still like uh, you or something. Sure it's happened. Some sometimes I think quite yeah quite a few times they've thought it's a catfish. Like nothing leads to the right person, and then they meet up and it is it is the person who they said they were. They just had, really? they just had reasons for not being able to meet. That's happened before. Wow. Like one guy, mm. his story, like he, he basically never met the girl and they always thought he was a catfish and they turned up, it was him. And it turns out he's like, um, he, he does music a lot. So he's basically in his studio 24 seven and there's no cell service where that is. <laughs> so he was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, whatever, bro, whatever. <laughs> but you took a TV show to get you together. That's great. Yeah, basically. So there have been certain crazy. times where that's happened. I don't, I don't remember a particular situation where it's been a catfish and then they've still 
end up getting together because your whole so relationship wild. is built on lies then isn't it mm. yeah that's facts so I'll tell you something wild this chick who got catfished yeah she got no Sharon why are you going to why are you going creating a documentary Cloud why are you publicising your 10 years of bestie making money out of it bro Yo, yeah but you could say the same thing about um, what was it Little Reindeer is that what it was called Baby Reindeer Baby oh, Reindeer yeah say oh, the same yes. thing about that that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that, that, that is literally that's what I'm saying. What's wrong with you? Like the fact that you're going out here making a documentary about your own ten years of BSD just shows that you just, just something's not right in your head. That's why it happened to you in the first place. Uh, I think it's good though. I think it it, it 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 highlights the problem. Like that is a real problem. Yeah, I agree. There's, there's people getting catfished. But you're now violating to yourself. Day. You're yeah, violating you're, yourself you're violating on national, your international. It's, she's getting game. money from it, so finished Actually, well the it. thing finished. is yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna if you've already taken the l you might as well profit from it at that point that's the mentality have some showroom yeah i agree but it's happened now so have what, what's gonna Sharon, happen mate. i'll be honest what's this woman's name what's Kirit. the sweet yeah all right she i, I can promise you she does not give a shit what hums and one says about the atypical podcast what about everyone that. else She's making money yeah come on the pod there's right. still in it Come on the pod. I have actually seen her now, she but comes now on the it's pod just getting violated. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. I have actually see, seen her. Um, I've seen her on other interviews and podcasts. Yeah, she she's seems to be PR doing tour. A, being doing a lot right now. Yeah, she's on a PR tour. Now that I've looked at her yeah. face, I mean, we need a female guest. Well, Noreen Khan rejected us, so <laughs> yeah. we'll get another uh, radio. Yeah, we'll get another radio Asian. Ah, mate, don't worry. This her, her stand up's happening soon. Uh, check another message. See if she's changed her mind. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Nuts. All uh, right. So what, what else has been happening then? Uh, obviously, the probably the biggest story is Mr. Liam Payne, mate. Wow. R.I.P. I would have said, you know, Israel bombing. But you know, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, Liam Payne's more. That's that's oh, continuous. Yeah. We can talk about that yeah, every exactly. week. Yeah. That's pretty that's predictable. That's predictable. Um the thing is we don't have our resident expert on the pod. He's he's left. For what? I'm the resident's one D expert. Ah, oh, see that was the joke I was gonna make. That he's the resident One Direction expert, not nah, the drug expert. Bro. Oh but, okay. Yes, but you immediately jumped on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So go on. <laughs> yeah. uh, go on. R- rank him out of all the other One Directions. <sighs> to be honest, you know, I actually like well, Liam. He oh, was probably was my second. Yeah. He was my third favourite, probably. Well, you keep going down. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because of that, I realized... he is nah, mid- he's midway. He... Who's right. bottom? Who's bottom? The bottom is... Um... The guy whose name I don't know. The, literally, the guy's name. I can't remember. What, who is it? It's Harry Jane okay. Liam. Let's do blind Who's ranking. <laughs> Let's like find ranking, ranking one direction. direction, right? Because you guys don't even remember the names. <laughs> all right, all right. No. All right, there's, there's five of them, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's five of them. All right. Raw, there's so, five. <laughs> yeah, there's five. There's five. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's five, yeah? I know. Three. So. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's do blind is this a bit messed up? Well, there's four of them now. Yeah, well. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Let's go for uh, Louis Tomlinson. That was the one. He's fifth, bro. He's fifth. Yeah, Tom I don't know the geezer's name, so yeah, five. Yeah. Okay, Lou Tomlinson, fifth. All right, let's go for... Let's go for Harry Styles. One. Yeah, honestly, it's close. It is one. close. He's one. It's close. Oh, this is this is the thing. This is the honest truth, yeah? The honest truth. Yeah, yeah. Harry was one, right? Oh, I know what you're saying. But then... I know what you're But then <laughs> Zayn Malik showed his Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> And he's actually, now he's won again. Whoa. Now he's won again. <laughs> I saw his dual deck, bro. He's Whoa, talking about you go. He saw his dildo. What? It's true. It's, it's relatable. I'm like, oh my yeah. God. A Pakistani Don doing Yu Gi Oh cards well, in school, bro. A guy from England doing Yu Gi Oh cards. He's from Bradford. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, okay, so, so you can say Malik. That's the truth. That was one, right? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nal Horan? He's four, bro. Yeah. Look, four. Honestly, Nala Liam was three. Know. Uh, yeah. who, who we got left? We Liam. Got... It's just Liam. Oh, it's Liam. Yeah. Well, Zane yeah. and Liam's Zane and um, Harry are interchangeable. Yeah. They're uh, clear. Z- Zane's number one for me, innit? Because Buck- like, li- li- shout out. Buck- oh, Zane, really? Shout I can't tell. Got can't t- you're you're got not even rating him based on his ability. No, no, no. Ability wise, I think he actually has the best voice. Um, I think he's got the most range. He does have the best. Voice, Harry makes but better I songs. Like, yeah, I like Harry's. Yeah, no, yeah, that's valid. that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. But I think voice alone, though, I think Zane Zane has the best voice. 
Yeah. You know, can I just... Normal accent. Yeah. Where would you put One Direction? <laughs> where would you put One Direction? Did you see this clip? On yes, that's the, what I'm the, talking the, about. The fellas. The fellas, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which is the do? stupidest thing. No, I agree. You're but dumb. for different reasons, though. No, I, I, I agree on a technicality basis. You're so What's dumb. The you, know what, you can take, take the topic away. The question the topic is, away. is One Direction bigger than the Beatles? Fuck off. The, the yeah. <laughs> dumb <laughs> statement. I think they were purely because they had access to all that modern technology. Although I don't know if they actually sold more. They definitely didn't last for as long, I don't think. No. Yeah, so it's a bit... It's on a relative scases, but I think they were. I think they were bigger, but but that's. But I think it's also because they had access to Come all that. Come on, lad! Like what are you saying? Yeah, I know it's outrageous. What what you the worst thing said. Listen, on the board all I'm ever. saying is that's like saying Scott never... McTominay is better than Gattuso. <laughs> no, <I'm not> having... <laughs> nah, that's not true. That's <laughs> not true, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey! Don't yeah, disrespect yeah. Scott. He's up there. Listen, Listen the all Beatles, I'm saying is the, the, the Beatles have 15 number ones or something. One Stop Direction. Yeah, the Beatles are never generational. One Direction never broke up because of a Japanese activist. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. They That's... broke up on their own terms. That is factually correct. So ain't no woman breaking up One Direction. That so Beatles can hold that correct. L. Yeah, let me just let me just uh, say some of the Beatles' uh, achievements here. Yeah, with all Shout the modern technology. Come on the, pod, though, still. Um, the Beatles are the best-selling music act of all time. Six hundred million units sold worldwide. Uh, they have number one albums on the UK album charts. Fifteen of them. Most number one hits on the Billboard chart, tax, 20 though. of them. Most singles sold in the UK, 21.9 tax, million. Tax. There was no other musicians at that time. <laughs> they definitely <laughs> yeah. were. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> go on, go on. <laughs> Name three. Oh, yeah. the 60s. Uh, what was the time Motown. You, it's Motown. No, well, no, no, no. Stop, stop Googling. Stop Googling, G. No, 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 no. no. Um, you don't even know their time period. That's, Ross. that's it. But I don't Dino need Ross. to know they're massive. No, no. I'm talking about other groups. Oh yeah, fine. What, with thirty years from now, we're we're not gonna remember exactly. who the hell was around now. Yeah, we will, because we were alive. <laughs> Elvis was around back then. In the 60s. Oh. Yeah, he's <laughs> the US though. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. Beat was like revolutionized. Yeah. No, One Direction is obviously up there. They're huge but, though. In terms of like, like British like, bands, they. I mean, what other than Beatles and One Direction? Obviously, okay, you got Beatles, One Direction. You got a few. Who have you got? I mean, yeah. Oasis. Take that. Oasis. Take that. Yeah. Um, is Coldplay British? Uh, Coldplay. Yeah, Coldplay's oh, wow, British. Yeah. Are the Bee Gees British? Mm. Yes, the Bee Gees are British. Are the Bee Gees British? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were oh, British. Not. Oh, nuts. Um, Led Zeppelin's British. What? Radiohead. Oh, fair, yeah, Pink Radiohead's Floyd. British. Rolling Stones. Queen. Queen, bruv. Queen. Oh, yeah. Queen can't like, actually two. way more than I thought. I thought Rolling yeah. Stones were like American. <clears throat> no, no. Rolling Stones British. Bro, Probably okay. Queen number two. Let me just rinse out a few of them. Right, All right okay. The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, <laughs> The Who, Rolling Stones, Pink Floyd, shout out, one of them went to Westminster. Um, you got Fleetwood Mac, Radiohead, Fleetwood Iron Maiden. Mac. Yeah, Iron Maiden, Oasis, Queen, Coldplay. You got Blur, Black Sabbath. You got Genesis. You got Sex Pistols. You got Def Leppard. Bro, there's loads. I had no what? idea. Motorhead. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's so, a no <clears throat> first way. Of all, there's a way. First of all, Fleetwood Mac is a that's a BS one because I swear one like one of them is British. That don't count. They British American. Oh yeah, it's British American. Yeah, British that don't count. But to be fair, we, okay, not. where would you rank that? But the question is, where would you rank that? Because to me, obviously, Beatles number one. I'd say Beatles, Queen, and then yeah, the thing is, Queen, was Queen really a group though? And it's just one man, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. Guy, I, let's be honest. No, no, come on, come guy. on. Let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest. It's am I wrong? Band. No, no. <laughs> am I wrong though? Name me one, one other singer. person. Name me one other person. You can't. Come on, um, that's fraudulent. I, I know what they look like. I know the guy. I, I respect Freddie. I respect Freddie. Shout out Tanzania and that, yeah? Zanzibar. I shout out, I respect. But <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not, that's not really a band. That's, well, that's, a, that's just guys who play instruments behind the actual person who's part of No, them. don't ever say that again. Don't, don't that was, say that again. That was the... F- Hamza, just you have some of the two say worst something. takes ever in ATX nah, history. Bro. Other bands, like other people actually doing something worthwhile. You know, even playing, Mike a, playing an instrument. Even even my uh, he, even he used to talk a little bit. He sing a little bit along with the rap. Okay, sing. so you're so you're saying Slash is useless because all he did was play the guitar. I don't even know who Slash is, bro. A kiss. Oh, kiss. Okay. I know. Is it the one with the thing you cross? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. See, I know, bro. The group Sting. with all the Be bullshit on their face. <laughs> Be texting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. That's good. That's good. That was a wrestling reference, Jay. That was a wrestling reference. That's not Sting. Yeah, okay, all right. Those are cards. But shout out Sting though. Desert Rose, bang on. That is, to be fair, Police are up there as well, actually. Uh, Br- yeah. Br- there's no, a no, lot no, of good British bands. Police but... American, no? 
All right, but I have a question. Are any of those bands female? <laughs> there actually is none that come up here. When I tried to be biggest is, fan... Is, is Little Mix literally the biggest female you can L- No, nah, a girl's allowed. Br- okay. br- br- the Spice yeah, Girls. Yeah, what? The Spice Girls. The Spice you know Girls. This, uh, this is a good question, actually. This oh, oh she's missing question. out. <laughs> this is a good... This is, we talk about music, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most animated I've ever been about music. It's so funny. You know what? Okay, He's going to be pissed. I'm looking, and the, the big first of all, the, the biggest selling British music artist of all time. Yeah, I've got that with Peter Guess. Number one. Yeah, Wait. yeah, okay, you go. Do you want to have a guess? Oh, you're talking about British music artists? Yes, female, first of all. Oh, the, fe- the biggest female. female. Britney, yeah. Isn't it? No, no, fem- British, British. British. And also, I don't think Britney oh. has more than this American. woman. Um, right. Adele. Yeah, Adele. Oh, yeah, shortly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Adele, yeah. Um, in terms What's of the difference women... between Adele and Queen? I'm sorry. Like, she's got backup people playing drums. <laughs> what the Tell fuck me what are you saying? Tell me what the difference is. She brings the same people to play the drums and the guitar and the backup vocals everywhere oh she goes. God. What's the difference? I love this. Between that and Queen. Because, it, it, because the band will be involved in actually making the music, bro. Okay, that's right. valid. That's valid. Yeah. <laughs> that's valid. They're not right, backup actually... musicians. They basically are the band. Are, they basically are. Come on. <laughs> gorillas. You got Gorillas as well, by the way. Oh, yeah, British that's, yeah, British, 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 <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Well, okay, that's so fair. Spice Girls is number one, by the way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now, Girls tell me what you want, what you yeah. really, really want. That was 90 million, yeah. So, and then the next oh, the one BGs were is British, just like yeah, not... below 50 million. Yeah, Bee Gees are elite. Oh, Never Mix. hating on them. The walking men. Bro, Bro is... can I say something, by the way? Do I you told you, Lil Mix are big is. in the US. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how they've done that. Should I tell you what's nuts, <laughs> right? My boy, Eddie Shears, yeah, Ed Sheeran, yeah. has sold 150 million, right? Yeah. But then the Beatles sold 600 mil. Now, oh, no, no, this is my question. One Direction. Though. One Direction, this is my though, question, though. One, nah, direction, they, though. one Direction lasts for about three years. This is my question, though, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. This is a perfect question for Harshi. If only you will say it. But I don't know how they do. Because obviously, nowadays, generation, it's like streams and stuff. I don't know how that. Because obviously, back in the Beatles, was, you had to actually go buy it. That's the only way you're going to listen to it, other than maybe like the radio. Right? But I don't know how that. I don't know how much of a difference that makes when nowadays no one buys and they just stream. So I don't, I don't know how yeah. fraudulent that six hundred versus one hundred fifty million is. Because if you go on streams, like although that's also a bit fraudulent because yeah, we're not, yeah. Times. yeah, Beatles so, aren't making you know music I mean. now to up their streams. Exactly, exactly. So I wonder, like, yeah, we'll, we'll ask you next episode. <laughs> we'll circle. Well, the thing is, the I wonder. Million uh, is estimated. I, I wonder a, a fair comparison. Well, more or less fair comparison would be how much did each band group slash artists make on tour grossed half a billy yeah, but that, but like, i'm not lying yeah i'm not kidding yeah ed, so shout yeah out. Ed did. but the, the, i don't goat. think that i don't know if that is a good it's also fraudulent because new like, technology marketing social yeah, but media. it's so big Every, but everyone went to live music was way bigger back then than it is now i don't know about that because like know, you've got ed sheeran and like taylor swift to make the most amount of money from like yeah. Taylor ain't bigger than fucking. Yeah, she's not bigger than the Beatles. Bro. The Beatles. Well, actually, <laughs> what direction no, is? Uh, she might. <laughs> Taylor Swift might be, but I don't care. Uh, you're she so is. No, no, I'm just saying, like, I'm just thinking about her sales because she gets so much. <clears throat> I guess ticket is prices it... are way different, is the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah. Is Taylor Swift the biggest female artist ever? I, I think, unfortunately, she is. But that's I've said this before. I said this before in an older episode, remember? I go, it's a yeah, fraud because she's got, like, some big niche. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, I think like, she's yeah, so fraudulent. She's got some diehard fan base. You know, whenever we talk about music, comes it says the shittest opinions are clocked. Nah, right? I don't care. Um, Do you think Taylor <laughs> Swift is bigger than like Mariah Carey? Yeah, and Celine yeah. Dion, oh, yeah. Zeman. Oh, yeah, 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 I think so. 100%. Honestly, yeah, hundred percent. She's clear. The only person who could potentially rival Taylor, Swift, I think, out of yeah, female artists, I'm just not going to agree. Is with Rihanna. That. Is Rihanna? Oh no, that's what I'm saying, Jay. That's literally my whole argument. I don't want to agree, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's true. Um, yeah, I don't want to agree either. Rihanna, it's Rihanna, bro. Is Rihanna bigger than Beyonce? Yeah, I think so. Is Rihanna's she? got like the most amount of singles. Yeah. I think she's literally. If I Rihanna's got <sighs> the most amount but, of but singles. But yeah, Beyonce got that Diddy cult, you know. That is true. <laughs> no, Rihanna no, probably does as well. Uh, that's true. Yeah, um, allegedly. 
This is all alleged. These are all jokes, people. Nothing that comes out of our mouth is factual. Yeah, we we want to thank Beyonce She's... for this podcast. <laughs> okay, look, so look, Rihanna. Rihanna has fourteen number one singles on the Billboard one hundred, which is like up there. There's only the number. So the, this is the record for the most number one singles. Beatles, crazy number two. As uh, number one, sorry, twenty. Oh, to be fair, Mariah Carey is nineteen, right? Oh, Elvis Presley eighteen, and Rihanna's fourteen. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Madonna, actually. Who's bigger, Madonna or Taylor Swift? <sighs> Madonna for Madonna for oh, Madonna, Madonna's bro, one of those people like that just fits. keeps trying to claw yeah. their way back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, 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 yeah. it's like never ending. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think Madonna's actually bigger than Taylor Swift, but Taylor Swift will like eclipse her. Taylor Swift is getting started, bro. That's what I'm saying. She'll so, eclipse I mean, her. Yeah. But I think Madonna's still number one too. Yeah, but in now. terms of music quality, right? Oh. Taylor could just get in the bin in it. Oh, oh I'll take I'll take a Kylie Minogue every day of the week. Oh, I'll take um, a Danny Minogue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why was she on X Factor, bro? You just done. Um, uh, yeah, Madonna for sure. Right? Madonna sold over 300 million records as well. For sure, she's number no, one. Okay, yeah, but she's, I think she's the literally the best thing thing female of all time. Not, not to say the number thing is fraudulent. It's not fraudulent, but I feel like it's... Bit, it's, more, it's like stats don't, stats not everything. That's what I mean. Stats not everything. Huh? Apparently, Rihanna sold 411 yeah, million. Stats yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. You need the eye test. The eye test is Taylor Swift is shit. <laughs> <laughs> have Listen, you seen taylor do... swift dance on her tour oh, oh my so god bro zero so rhythm cringe. you can't she's how done. can you be a music she's artist done. zero rhythm she needs some wd-40 bro she's <laughs> <laughs> oil that she's done. Done. Ed don't she's like diddy oil bro she needs like... <laughs> hey yo <laughs> she's, she needs the baby oil i guarantee um, you ed has more rhythm guarantee you oh then, ed's got then, better then, rhythm bro then Taylor Swift. Yeah. One hundred percent. Ed's got rhythm, bro. He's, he's, I have never he's seen a few Ed dance. Uh, All I've seen him just play the guitar. Nah, on stage. bro. That's Ed's, it. Ed's nah, got nah, it locked nah, down. I'm telling you. Ed's, got Ed's bi- Ed's biggest enemy is the sun. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. He went gone. Oh, to be fair. We're talking about music for twenty minutes. It's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. Oh. I'm all right. Big. All right. Let's 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 keep it music. I I got a game. We got like ten minutes left or something. I got a game if you don't want to play it. Sure, 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 sure. We can. Uh, it's another blind ranking, so um, we can do this. I wanted everyone to be here, but you know, it's in Hoshi's own fault. So, yeah. <laughs> right, this is a game. I'm bringing back, bringing back shower thoughts, but superhero edition. Well, superpower edition. Yep. So I'm gonna paint a picture, right, and then and then I want you to rank one to six blindly, and then we'll do it one at a time. So the sure. picture I'm painting is a chest appears in front of you magical chest and then you open it and it's got six rings inside right? oh i like where this is going <laughs> each ring has a special power but you're only allowed to choose one of the rings as soon as you choose one you put it on the other five and the chest disappear forever bro this sounds like D bro sounds yeah, like all the like... rings <laughs> if you guys want to see an atypical D session <laughs> oh that would actually be so <laughs> jokes <laughs> Memes aside, that'd be this so a Dungeons funny. and Dragons right, Lego we'll set. You know that it looks sick. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll do a D and D episode. If 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 we clip this and then we'll get hyped for it. All right, I'll add it. All right, minutes. so that's actually a good idea, bro. <laughs> one, you can choose one ring. The other five and the chest disappear forever. So I'm gonna list the six rings now. I'll give you a description of what the ring does, and I want you to to rank it one to six blindly, and then we'll see what you guys decide is the best ring, and if you actually agree with that once the the thing is over. So, right, number I'm one, excited. the false avatar. You gain ability to control air, fire, earth, water, and electricity. But every year, the element you use the least disappears from your control forever. And this continues until you're only left with one element. Okay, is, is the, the four elements of avatar false, electricity? So, false yeah? avatar, you get all the elements from avatar plus electricity, Every year, mm. the element you use the least disappears from your control forever, and the others get stronger. And, th- and that continues good, you know? until you're only left with one, but you can only I'm ever thinking, control that one. I'm thinking about bills, bruv. You can subsidize a lot of <laughs> electricity and fire. Yeah. Uh, it's a good one, but mm? I'm not going to put one immediately. That'll be boring. So what, what, are, you, one, what are you ranking it then? One to six? 
Oh, ranking. Oh, blind okay. ranking that. Ooh, yeah. okay. Um, That's pretty elite. So you're left with one. So realistically, what's the one you would be left with? It would be either electricity or fire in it. Like, genuinely. You're not going to so. be Water's using... pre- Ah, oh, free water term. forever though, bro. Oh, wait. Is, is, well, you say ability to control water, yeah? Yeah. So like, you still got to like be at a source. No. So, well... Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, you can get yeah. it from a tree. You have to, you have like to get, you get it from, from somewhere. Yeah, you have to get it from, get it from the roots or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine because in Avatar, they get it from literally the, the oxygen. Like Bro, the Mongolia is going to be yeah, easy yeah. then. Get it from the clouds. Mongolia yeah, is like would be easy. <sighs> oh, you know what? It's a really interesting one because can you... Can, if you're Avatar, he combines them. So Wait, can you air. heat up the water? Can air, Can you fly with that? Yeah, you can fly with that. Yeah, you can. Oh, I can just drink the clouds and be like, ah, like, it's not flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, sugar. Go on, this pick is, a I'm number, lads. Go on. I'm going to put three. Put three. Three. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I back that. I back that in the middle. Yeah, it's All pretty right, good. Because yeah, yeah. you're going to say some bullshit like you're going to become Spider Man, which is incredible. <laughs> but, like, it's not really useful in the real world. Uh, funny you say that. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> okay, right. We'll get, we'll get a list up on the screen as well. So, the false avatar you've put yeah. in three. Right, number two, ultimate insight. You can read the minds and pasts of anyone you can see. However, once you finish reading their mind and past, that person will always know you've read their thoughts. That's that's like five. six. Six. Yeah. Oh, I can, I can, I'll, put, I'll put that five just for, yeah. just you know, got to be, got to be careful in it. That would be, if you're like a prosecution lawyer, pretty good. Ah, that's true, <laughs> actually. Because what are they going to say? Oh, this person read my mind. Mm. Like, they're not going to do that. Anyway. No one's going to believe them. Yeah, but if they know you got this power, you can you could be able to show that that power is truthful after a certain oh, period of time. That's true. You get yeah, murdered like so bro. quickly, though. You can do like the mentalist. Yeah. You'd be murdered so quickly. Yeah, you would. Still five, though. Yeah, how about that? All right, put it five. Okay, number three. Blink. You can teleport between spaces and dimensions, but you can never be stealthy as teleporting sounds like thunder crashing. Imagine be freaking uh, Black Adam, bro. Just like, <laughs> I mean, you know, I know we're like, boom. What was, the, what was the movie with Hayden Christensen where he's teleporting? Hmm? What was it called? Jumper. You're the movie guy. Yes, oh, it was yeah. called Jumper. Yes. Banging movie. That's basically, banging movie. Um... So the noise can, is a real caveat. So you said you can teleport yeah. and move you dimensions. Could, you can teleport between spaces and dimensions, but never stealthily. Well, you jumper, say jumper and was dimensions. Stealthy, so. Let's jumper be realistic. So what? You can just teleport to any other place on Earth. Yeah. Or another planet. On, yeah. yeah. Another planet. Okay. Or, or, or you're saying another galaxy. Yes. Is that, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Any other space, mm. but but not in time. I think it's still like. In, in your time, time period, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it sounds like thunder. I mean, who cares, bro? I can do this, and I can go on a holiday. Yeah, it was really expensive to get to Japan. To be fair, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And I don't yeah, want it was enough thunder there again. Like, yeah, imagine, yeah. imagine you turn up to like a banquet, and you're just like Thor, just in the, the thunder. That's a yeah, but who cares? Like, that's not actually going to cause any issues, though. Isn't I'm, it? I'm saying that's a good entrance. Yeah, that's that's a sick, imagine like, you turn up to your wedding like that. Legendary. Oh, but if, actually, um, yeah, you don't even need to worry about passports, bro, isn't it? Like, if you're you about to get what? caught, boom, I'm back in that's, England. That's <laughs> you always have police on your case, though. Always. Yeah, but they don't know who you are, though, innit? They will they eventually. Uh, you still have a passport. <laughs> I'd monetize nah. it. You're the only I'd don don in the world it. that has this. It's going to get caught on video. I'm going to put that number two. Yeah, same. Oh, I'd, I'd, what is I'd, it again? What's, what's it called? Uh, blink. 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 Yeah, I would monetize that and be like the guy on Instagram. The teleporting guy on Instagram, bruv. Come well renowned hit. Immediately monetize oh, that right, shit. Right, right, right. Get sponsorships. <laughs> right. Get like sponsors for like Gatorade or something. Like, yeah. Gatorade. <laughs> yeah. Drink this. Gatorade. 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 <laughs> That's why I said it. <laughs> Gatorade. Um, oh, okay, yeah. you put that at two. Hold on. Can wait, Whoever I touch, can they teleport with me as well? No. no it's just, just me. It's just you. Oh. You're on your one. Oh, Still then I kind of, I'm paying it low then, I'll be really? honest. Really? I'm not going to do no so much drinking. That's long. What you, you could save all your money when you're going to Kerala next year. Yeah. The, and now that you said that, I'm putting it four. I'm putting it four. <laughs> yeah, you bring it I, don't think it's, I don't think it's better than like free elements. Literally. Free water, free fire, free air, free foot mm. electricity. You only get one of those though. Yeah, but eventually. 
Mm. Okay, uh, you're saying, yeah, you're saying four. I'll okay. Put, okay. Right. Yeah, four. I put electricity. In, I put the Avatar three, right? Yeah. yeah so you put Avatar, Avatar three, three right? Blink four, Ultimate Insight five. Oh shit! I've used all my mid tier ones. Okay. Yeah. So you've that got what? You've got two, three, and six. No, you got two and six left. What? And one. No, no, one, one, two, two, and six. One, two, and six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got one, two, and six. All right. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Hamza, did you agree with that ranking of four? Uh, no, no, two. mine's in two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're doing different. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, I've got it noted down. Okay. Right. Next one. The silver tongue. You can speak to any sentient creature in its own language. However, once you switch to a new language, it takes 24 hours before you can switch to another. Oh, I kind of wish I didn't have that number two anymore. Ah, oh, false avatar needs to go down to four, bruv. Blind ranking, <laughs> Blink bro. needs to go down to three. Blind ranking. Uh, 24 hours is a long time, though. It's yeah, not... imagine you're speaking like again. a gutta for 24 hours. Oh, so you're stuck in that language for 24 yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, so me speed. This so you can speak to any fast. sentient creature in its language, but you, once you switch, you can that's only switch shit. back 24 hours. The 24 hours is shit, <laughs> bruv. I mean, that's a whole. Day. You got a give and take with these powers, bro. It's not all yeah, Marvel. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna put that one number six because me like, too. Because like, you basically, basically speaking, you can't. Like, it's cool to like, oh, I want to speak to this bird. I want to speak to this day that. Yeah, but that's but then, it then. But that's really, it. Like, you speak English ever again. I would put that really high. That ring. I'll put that. You're really not gonna speak high. English ever again. No, in 24 hours no, you, you can switch back to 24 hours. Yeah, but then you'd want to use the power again. Yeah, but you yeah, can speak true. to any, literally anyone that exists. Yeah, but then you'd also stop speaking to your own family and friends, bro. You uh, won't barely be able to use that. It'd be like once in a blue moon. Nah, yeah, I that's why I'm saying I wouldn't time. use it. Oh, but okay. then if you use that's it all the time, you'd never be speaking. Yeah, but, it's true. That's the thing. Like, yeah. like you can either be speaking to other other people all the time, or you'd only be speaking to humans all the time. I'll put that number four. One, I'm putting a six. Wow, interesting. You guys put it. I'll go one and six. I'm not gonna put it two. One, so. I think that's miles better than some of the other stuff. Yeah, mm. so I put in four. Uh, so I've got one and six left. My son's got one and two. He's on a stinker. <laughs> okay. You've got what, one and six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, well, fine. The next one, second to last, this one. Grand shape. You can shape shift into any animal or human. However, you're but... cursed to forget what you originally looked like. Six. That's like basically That's freaking losing shit. your memory, bro. <clears throat> um, You're a comedian forever. So I can change into anything, but then I forget what Hamza looks like. Yeah. But I, but can I change back into Hamza? You don't know what you look like. You can change back oh, to you're a saying, human. Oh, oh yeah, but yeah. what if I see a picture of me? And someone's like, oh, that was you. Then I can mm -hmm. turn back, right? But I still wouldn't know. No, but that you wouldn't know that. that you, yeah, you wouldn't believe that that was you. Because you don't remember that. Um, it's six, six. Six, six. I mean two. That's the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what was that called again? Uh, grand shape. shape. Uh, grand shape. Yeah. No way. Because then, like, you'd, you'd you'd lose all relationships with your. So what? You both have number one left. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. You've had a oh, mare. Yeah. You've had a mare. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you've had a all right. Number. Hey, one. By the way, so far Avatar being number one. I'm. A, I would have retroactively put Avatar number one. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get to that after. We'll see what like what yeah. ranking you would have actually done. All right. The last one, <laughs> you guys are going to hate this. Right. Checks and balances. That sounds like I don't like it. If you die in any way while wearing this ring, you will always come back to life. But at the cost of someone dear to you. And the ring decides who that will be. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a six. No. That's literally the that's six. six. No. That's reverse one, the way. We're doing reverse blind ranking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that's so shit. Yeah, I got my number one and three. That's the worst. That's by far the that's worst. worst. That's, that's worst. by far. Because that's the whole point. That's what everyone says about, like, that's the caveat immortality, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you what see everyone else you care about dying. Checks and balances. Checks and balances, yeah. That's so shit, by the way. That is so shit. <laughs> what happens when eventually when you're, like, uh, 500 years in the future and everybody you, uh, you love is dead? Then yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, life's not what it's just taking random yeah, NPCs exactly. whoever you whoever you're closest to at that point in time yeah, that's the six. worst I'd rather talk to flipping animals yeah, yeah, at least yeah, there's bro, kind of talking to animals is elite I don't know why you both hate no, because not you're not going to talk to any alien, alien bro any alien because I'd want to use oh. it so first of all aliens don't exist but I'd want to use it so much and then I'd never be able to speak English 
<laughs> oh, I've had such a man on this one. Well, okay, read them yeah. out then, Hamza. Read out your one and then my one. So I said one checks and balances, two blink, three false avatar, four silver tongue, five ultimate insight, and six grand shape. And Masam said one checks and balances, two grand shape, <laughs> three false avatar, four blink, five ultimate insight, and six silver tongue. So Masam, your top two are everyone around you dies and you forget who you are. Yeah, <laughs> he's good. That's crazy. I got a blink though. I can t- transport. Like, that's my number two. Yeah, the, my, I think that'd my, be number um, one. What was really? false advertising or whatever? False avatar. False avatar. Yeah, no, the, stuff the, and then you lose one. Yeah. No, so, okay. <clears throat> I know the first two. One's immortality, you're dead. Mm-hmm. Everyone dies. One's shapeshifter. One's avatar. Yeah. One is you talk to animals. Yeah. One is you can hear what so, every, everyone says. So they but know then, you. Yeah, you can read their minds, yeah. And, and then teleport the and, and chameleon. Okay, yeah. My actual number one is for sure avatar. Mm. And then probably blink. Yeah, yeah avatar, one, blink, two. top two, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Sure. And then, and then the, I think it'll be the animal one. The animal, yeah. The animal one is only because the the however in that is just too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I too, agree. It's too strong. Yeah. yeah. Fair, fair list. And I get the one. The ring, worst though. one is number one for sure. <laughs> okay, what would you, you say? You, you don't have the one ring to rule them all. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you can't have. I'll take it out right now. Can't. No, you can't. Right. You can't I've make. I've got a, a part two to this, so we'll, we can do that in the next episode. But that yeah, was that was cool. That was nice. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's Should we call it there? Yeah. yeah, there we go. Thanks for tuning in to episode 57. And uh, yeah, I should miss out on the biggest music chat we probably had till date. <laughs> He's going to be fuming. But uh, yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Atypical Podcast. Modesta's episode coming soon. Keep an eye on that. Follow us on all our socials at the Atypical Podcast. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next episode. Cheers. <laughs>